The Nagaland government has convened a consultative meeting on September 12th at 10 in the morning at the Chief Minister's residence in Kohima to deliberate on the Naga political issue. The meeting will be attended by State Chief Minister Nefi Rio, Deputy Chief Ministers T.R. Zeliang and uh, Yanthungo Paton, Nagaland Legislative Assembly Speaker, Deputy Speaker, all Ministers, Members of Parliament, all Advisors and Legislatures, Chief Secretary along with other senior officials of the State Government. The Political Affairs Committee, the PAC of Nagaland government, had decided to hold consultative meetings with APEC's tribal bodies and civil society organizations on taking forward the Naga political issue. The decision to this effect was taken during the state government's PAC meet held last month in the presence of Chief Minister Nefi Rio. The Rio government had constituted the PAC on Naga political issue in November 2023 to facilitate an early solution to the vexed issue. The big story from Nagaland at this Avi was the state government has convened a consultative meeting on September 12th at 10 a.m. at the chief minister's residence in state capital Kohima to deliberate on the Naga political issue. Meeting will be attended by Chief Minister Nefu Rio, Deputy Chief Ministers T.R. Zeliang and Yanthungo Paton, Nagaland Legislative Assembly Speaker, Deputy Speaker, Ministers, Members of Parliament, Advisors and Legislatures, Chief Secretary along with other senior officials of the the state government. The Political Affairs Committee of Nagaland government had decided to hold consultative meetings with APEC's tribal bodies and civil society organizations on taking forward the Naga political issue. The decision to this effect was taken during the state government's PAC meeting held last month in the presence of Chief Minister Nefi Rio. The Rio government had constituted the PAC on Naga political issue in November last year to facilitate an early solution to the vexed issue. And on the phone line is my colleague Sarah Konyak to give us more on this. Sarah, the Nagaland government, it's, uh, it's all set to hold a consultative meeting on the Naga political issue with all the tribal bodies, the civil society organizations. The meet is scheduled for 12th of September. We know that. What are the details and what are the updates on this, Sarah? Uh, well, the political affairs committee of the uh, Nagaland government have invited all the and tribal bodies, the tribal ethics bodies, as well as the civil society organizations, including the cabinet officers of various uh, tribal bodies. Uh, well, the political affairs committee had had its first meeting in the month of August, on 28th of August, and during the meeting, the House felt that the state government should approach uh, people's organizations, uh, civil society, tribal bodies, and the ethics bodies, and also invite their views and opinions on how to go about in resolving the issue which is confronting the Naga society for so long. Uh, 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 Amita, even in the past, the government, uh, the, government uh, the political affairs committee of the earlier government used to approach the Naga negotiators uh, to press for an early solution. But this time, the PAC uh, have decided that they would first seek the opinion of the general public on how to go about in bringing about an early solution to this uh, Indo-Naga political issue. Uh, the House also during the meeting uh, had also decided that they would take a different approach. Even Naga national political groups continue to maintain a period stand, uh, which is uh, detrimental to the negotiation uh, with the sector. And they, they had also cited in the meeting that this could also be one of the reasons for the delay in the final solution. Uh, at the same time, the stakeholders have also been appealing to the different Naga political groups to come together and be one for the negotiations. However, the uh, NEC and IM, as well as the uh, as well as the uh, working committee of the sub NECs, they don't seem to be coming together, and they are also not even able to sit across the table and hammer out the differences. So this time, the state government is uh, going to take a different approach in uh, resolving this other political issue. While they are not party to the talks, they are just facilitators. So uh, definitely this meeting is going to be very crucial. We will have to wait for the outcome, what the civil society, the apex bodies have to say on this as uh, the negotiations have been going on uh, for a very long time. However, there is still no uh, solution, no sign of solution to this long-pending issue. 
Amrita. Absolutely. Uh, Sara, this high-level meeting is its definitely going to be a major step forward for the Naga political issue, a step closer for the vexed issue. Now, you have uh, categorically mentioned that the state government is very likely to take a different approach uh, this time for, for, this, uh, for, for, for coming to a solution to this issue. Uh, Sara, big takes and big decisions likely, definitely. Uh, well, we cannot say whether any resolution would be passed during the meeting, uh, during the earlier consultative meetings or on this subject matter. Uh, the uh, the consultative meeting usually passes uh, resolutions uh, which is forwarded to the government of India as well as to the Naga ne negotiating parties. Uh, we will have to uh, wait and see whether the uh, consultative meeting will be adopting any kind of resolution. But definitely it is very high time that the facilitators, the 60 members who have come together uh, just for this uh, for just for this Naga solution by forming an opposition-led government, they, they will have to work on a war footing uh, to ensure that the, that there is that there is an early solution and that they are able to convince the, poli the Naga political group to come together and hammer out their differences and uh, work together as one for the negotiations, at least for the sake of the Naga people. Oh,